Hey! Hi guys, um, so today I'm going to record the whole of my journey to Turkey. Um, I'm going to Izmir to get to, to get Turkey surgery, <laughs> to get a fat transfer because I'm not happy with mine. Um, basically I have mine done in this other place. This is my third time now. First time I wasn't happy with it, like didn't make that much difference and that was not long after I had a baby. Second one, it was much better but still not the shape I wanted. I still feel like even though the, my body's a bit curvy, it's still a bit square and that's not what I want. I want my waist like proper taken in. They've missed out like parts on my side like here on my hips and stuff and I want my bum to come out more because I've never actually had any in my lower bum. I've, I've had it all up here. I know this is going to be the one which I'm going to love and hopefully I never have to lie on a operating theatre table anymore. So yeah. We're nearly at the airport. I'm feeling really nervous, I'm absolutely starving. Just balance it maybe. I really want to live in this. Is that better? Is it? No, you are Vanilla. I swear to God, I haven't quite. I had a whiff of <laughs> So we've arrived at the airport. Just literally saw one of us. So I'm just in the airport lounge waiting to board my flight. I grabbed myself a drink and stuff because I was really thirsty. Bought a new foundation for MAC. Oh, my God, I look absolutely hanging. Can't wait to have this back taken up my face here. It's literally so fat. I'm on my way to board now. She looks after her all. He's the girl that I've been speaking to for the past couple of months, so it's cool to finally be here. Uh, I know. Billion. Hi guys, um, I just arrived to the villa and it's absolutely stunning. Oh my god, Did you call them? I'm joking. <laughs> and it's absolutely stunning from what I can see so far. And it's only me here at the moment, but there's going to be like more people coming. Well, another girl coming tomorrow, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so nice. What the hell? Oh my god, literally, I wish I had a house like this. So nice. So, yeah, after you get the surgery, you come and you get to live here basically. So, you don't feel like out of comfort. Because the last place I went to, I went to a hotel and it was absolutely dreadful. But yeah, I feel, I feel much more at ease now that I get to come here after I have my surgery. Morning, guys. Oh god. So I've just woke up, I'm really, really nervous to be honest, but oh my god, I've got no knickers on, but look how amazing the view is. It's absolutely stunning here, yeah, but I'm about to go in the shower now and get ready and then I'm off to the clinic. Oh god, I'm so scared. Just on my way there. Hi, nice to meet you, okay? Hello, nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. This is the doctor. <laughs> He's gonna be making my body look amazing. He's gonna give me a consultation now, so I'm gonna film it for you guys. Yeah, they're soggy. Uh, we have to make a plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a natural pair of breasts. Yeah. 
weight, so I'm having my breasts taken out and I have to go back with no boobs. No boobs, not no boobs, but smaller boobs. Um, what, no implant? No implants for a while. Really? Yeah, oh we have. Oh my god. So my, my pocket right now is stretched. Yes, there's a large base. Yeah. So whatever you, I put into it doesn't matter, they just go. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So dress. that's why when I yeah. had my boobs done recently, that's why they've completely just sagged again yeah. because the pocket's too large. Yeah. But I get it. To be honest, I'm glad you're saying the truth because the last surgeon I went to was just like, yeah, you need bigger implants. It's going to stop the drooping and, now, and then they've just drooped again. So at least I'm just actually sorted the problem out now. Yeah, I just want a normal looking boob. Yeah. So I've just had my consultation with Dr. Ali um, at a light surgery. I'm not going to show you my boobs because they're absolutely horrendous. Um, basically I had them done in Turkey in another surgery not so long ago and my boobs were like saggy, like I had big nipples and they were just not good after I had a baby. So I went to these people and they were like, we advise you to have bigger implants, they're going to be much more purge, you're going to have much more volume. And what's happened is my boobs have literally gone to the side, mm -hmm. my nipples are huge and they're different sizes. So. I come here thinking I was going to get small implants put in, but the doctors advised me to have my implants taken out, just have everything tightened up and reconstructed, and then in two months I'm going to come back and get small implants. So I'm really scared to just lose my actual boobs right now, and I'm intrigued to see what they're going to look like without implants, but I know it's the right thing to do, but I'm scared. So this is my body before, guys. They done my arms before, but they it did make a difference. They didn't take much fat out. Do you think you get a lot of fat from me? Yeah. That's the C-section, yeah. yeah. Then are my scars look from the last one? Scars are really bad. Yeah, they they these they so bad on the back. I'm going also going to make a revision for them. Thank you. This okay. is only fat, right? Just fat, yeah. My bum has always been quite firm. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling really nervous right now, but um, excited at the same time because I believe that he's going to do a really good job for me. So I'm going to make a revision on both. So what's the revision? You basically cut it open and sew it back again. So I just removed that scar yeah. and I just stitch it. Yeah, I feel so much better you know. I'm going to also take pictures during the surgery. Yeah. So right after the surgery. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You are going to be able to see what you look like. Yes. So after the surgery. Oh, is, the, is the Wi-Fi here? Sorry. Hello. 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 We need to sign some papers yeah, cool. for the concept forms. Very nice, Lily. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, I'm just on my way down to the room. I've been to the doctor. I actually feel a bit better now. I've spoken to him. Obviously, he's always no back in, like, he's sleeping stuff. I don't know if to just wake up with the body I wanted. Do you have any condition? Heart condition? Blood pressure? Nothing. Okay. Do you have any operation before? Um, I've had my boobs done and my body done. Mm -hmm. um, I've had a C-section, I was about to sleep. Any problem? No. Okay. Yeah. Good. You look beautiful yeah. enough. What do you need? Oh, Some operations? No, you want to see me naked. <laughs> Sorry. And we're just about to go down to surgery. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I feel so embarrassed, like everyone's seeing me like this. Hello! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Back here. Going in. Yeah. Going there. See you when you get out. Alright, we'll be here. Alright. Oh Bye. Yes, give the phone. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah. Bye. See you. Oh, she's very tired. Hi, 
sorry guys, I can't really speak much because I'm out of it, but surgery went good. Um, they took my implants out, but they found a rupture in one of them, and I've only had them in for like four months. Sure. I made sure you research the surgeon going in for my lesson, because I could, I could have died if I didn't have my boobs taken out today. So since, since I'm thinking about tissue, this one's hurting. Yeah, it's normal. Because I also have uh, removed some tissue out of here, some fat, because it was bigger. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> You're going to my lips. Yeah. Today. Does it hurt though? So I'm just going to okay. correct the asymmetry. Yeah. And I think that's enough for you. Yeah. Because you already have large lips. Yeah. And <clears throat> Sorry about that, I was eating sweets. Day one after the surgery. I feel not too bad though. Just a bit tired. I just had to like a massive plate of food because I was absolutely starving. The last time I ate, I just spewed you all back up and I spewed on the actual plate. I feel really confident in my body. Um, he's shaped me really nice. Obviously right now I'm a bit swollen. It's all going to go down like my waist is going to be much smaller than this. But the most weird thing for me is my boobs have gone, like I'm used to having like massive massive boobs like out here and it's just weird that they've gone but you know what, I actually prefer it I can't believe that the implants I had in were ruptured and they could have killed me so it's lucky I listened to his advice and took the implants out otherwise I probably wouldn't be here Lips is going to get numb mm -hmm. and do not taste it, it's we need to wait for a few minutes mm -hmm. for it. Thank you. Can't believe how swollen my face is. So swollen. Do you reckon I'll see a difference straight away? Is that vodka? We used to have a fatty neck. Mm. What's it look like? Mess. Now it's L. Like that? Yeah. Looks. Is there a difference? Yeah. Am I done? Almost. Oh, I don't want any more. So I'm getting ready now. Because the um, national newspaper is coming. Mm. And I've tried to, like, you know, disguise the bruises on my face and stuff. Because I look like an absolute hamster right now. But yeah, you can already see the shape in the dress. It's, I've got garments on, so you can't see the proper shape, but... Hmm. Let's see if it does my shoes up for me. <laughs> <laughs> My chemicals. Thank you. I look like a pain in the wall or something. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You've made me one happy girl. <laughs> Yay. And please be careful when hugging. Oh. Can you believe this is a day after surgery and I'm just like up and about walking like normal as much? Ooh, can't wait till this spider goes down. And Ali's such a nice doctor, like he's so sweet and caring. He is. I couldn't have chosen a better person to go with. Shut the door, leave the door. Thank you so much. Now you just come and get to chill in this amazing villa. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hi, this is Jamie, our other patient yeah. coordinator. Oh, nice Hello, nice to meet you. She's also lush. There's five bedrooms upstairs and they're really big and they've got like wardrobes in there and a balcony. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they're gorgeous. I don't know what that is. That's the Adan <laughs> for prayer. Uh, where they call you to pray. Oh, they're calling me to pray? No, not you to pray. <laughs> this lovely walk-in wardrobe. I think they do this so you come back for more surgery. Because obviously I don't even want to leave this place. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, this is my lush bed. I'm going to share it with. But... So hey guys, um, today I'm going home. Um, it's the last day. I feel like sh. But it's because I've come on my period, so I've got a really bad belly. I've swollen up a lot. Like my arms are massive, and my face is huge. My arms look much skinnier. Boobs are so small. I look like a wreck right now. <laughs> but I think. 
it'll all be worth it. I'm really embarrassed by leaving today because like everyone's gonna stare me in the airport and think like why does she look like a mummy? It's something you've got just gotta deal with. But yeah, the overall experience has been really good. I'm happy with my surgery, but obviously right now I'm literally full of water so you can't see any can't really see the results right now, but I'm really confident that it's gonna be really good because my body wasn't that bad before and now I've had like more work done, it's gonna be good. But yeah, I just I feel kind of just kind of tired and I just hate looking ugly. I can't wait to be pretty. <laughs> I'm like a mummy, oh my god. So I'm finally back in the UK. That flight wasn't too bad, but um, I am kind of sore, but it's nothing major. And I was delayed by like nearly two hours, so I'm happy to be back. Everyone's staring at me because obviously I've got this on my face, my face is really swollen and I've got this humongous bump. Also I wanted to say like me recording this and showing you my journey isn't, isn't, I'm, I'm not doing it so people like just want surgery after it, I'm doing it to just, just show like what it's like and just share my experience with everyone. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just telling people to get surgery. Obviously if, if something's making you feel severely depressed and you want to change something about yourself then do it but don't just go and have surgery because I've just gone and done it. Um, I'm not a role model. Um, I just wanted to show my journey. But yeah, thank you for following me.